Hello. All right. Um, today I will be talking to you all about a certain type of magic. This is called knot magic. Knot magic is really cool. It's basically just tying your um, your intention and your magic into some form of string. So it's a little bit simple, but I like simple spells. So that's why I'm drawn to this type of magic. But and let's all remember what magic is. It is all about um, putting your focused desire and projecting it into the universe through your conscious, symbolic, and mundane actions. So doing a simple action like tying a knot will help to um, attract that to you. So knot magic, there's really a lot of ways to use knot magic. It really does come down to your intention. So whatever your intention is, that's how you can use it. And that's really how all magic is. It's really, it comes down to what you intend to do to um, help you to be more mindful about the thoughts that are entering into your mind and the ideas and if they're not helpful to you then you need to release them and so this is a way to help you kind of determine and to pay attention to those thoughts you've probably heard that your thoughts determine your reality and that you attract what you think about and so um, to, when you are more mindful about the thoughts that we have then we're able to um, attract what we want use it as a tool for mindfulness like i mentioned earlier the that you are keeping track of your thoughts and you're learning to monitor them and you're able to um, notice when your thoughts are not helpful to you and you can learn to change them and reverse them and make them into something that will help you so, so that's the one way like i said this is the releasing spell but there's other ways that you can use not magic. You can use it to um, bring positive things into your life or things that will help you. So this would be um, if you're trying to manifest something specific, like if you want some sort of, um, if you want, if you're looking for wealth or if you're looking for love or if you want to bring more cats into your life, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, um, you can use the not magic to help you with that. And one other thing that I think is really cool is doing um, stitchery, which is another form of magic. And it involves um, certain crafts like crochet or knitting or cross stitch, needlepoint, embroidery, any of these things that where you're tying a string with a knot and then you're also creating something with it. Because generally when you're doing these crafts, you're either making something for yourself that you will cherish or you're making something for someone else that they will cherish. And whatever energy that you have in the moment while you're crafting will go into that, that project. That's all I have for you. All right, see you later.